Hello friends, myself Sarma Suraj, a student of GDC Modasa. Today, I want to uh, represent some of the uh, some of the facts of variable voltage, variable frequency drive, or basic introduction regarding to this drive. So, before we start, we need to see the topics that we're going to discuss in our presentation. First, we would uh, discuss by introduction, then challenges, principle of working, av available power ratings of uh, triple VF drive, uh, advantages, advantages, disadvantages, and uh, ultimately conclusion. So, right from the beginning, uh, we start from the introduction. So, uh, it's been uh, uh, it's been a wide requirement of this kind of drives ever since we had uh, some uh, conventional means so by through which uh, we used to handle the uh, speed and uh, torque characteristics of any induction motor but uh, nowadays in industries as you see as you look forward the future expanse as you look forward some efficiency as you look forward some uh, some kind of means where we can have this kind of drives so there we uh, there uh, they use the triple vf drive due to the some due to a uh, certain advantages due to many of the uh, beautiful features of this uh, the of these drives uh, and uh, uh, the uh, as a, as a student, if you if one uh, if one uh, needs to understand about this drive, then he, then uh, we can just say uh, if you know the equation of uh, synchronous speed of the motor, that is 120 f by p. So according to that equation, uh, the speed is directly proportional to frequency. So here, uh, by reducing or by increasing the frequency, we can have the uh, uh, better control over the speed of the drive, speed of the induction motor. But uh, there are certain challenges uh, uh, due to that. Uh, the only uh, variation in frequency cannot be just uh, uh, can can be just uh, handled because uh, uh, so we would see uh, those uh, challenges in my next slide so now challenges uh, as you know that the voltage is directly proportional to root 2 pi sorry the equation for voltage is root 2 pi fn phi k omega where k k omega is a constant so that shows the stator voltage that is directly proportional to our frequency so uh, what about flux now so if I uh, make this equation in that sense where uh, phi would be directly proportional to the ratio of V by F so now friends uh, what if I say if I'm gonna reduce the frequency so uh, probably my uh, flux would be increasing so that is also not desirable because if we if I am increasing my air gap flux that would saturate my magnetic circuit index motor so that is also useless so uh, what else I can do is uh, uh, what if I uh, uh, increase the frequency so uh, if I increase the frequency that would reduce the flux so for a better retaining capability of torque so that method also not useful uh, in a sense so I'd rather go for V by F control if I have simultaneous control over the voltage and frequency so both are uh, maintained at level so that time I can have better control so that we would see in our next slide now principle of working of the drive so uh, uh, principle of working is uh, so much uh, simple so much understandable here uh, as you are seeing uh, on a screen the block diagrams of this drive here in uh, in between AC motor in between the supply uh, sorry in between AC motor and supply we have one variable frequency controller the what it does now variable frequency controller that would uh, uh, vary the frequency and uh, according to the varying uh, variation frequency and voltage we would have the better control of the motor here uh, one more thing we have that is operator interface that is for operator that we would be, uh, that we would be understanding in our next slide. So, uh, as we uh, know that any stator voltage control that can be just achieved by uh, connecting one uh, uh, connecting one uh, first uh, we convert the AC to DC, then again we co by converter and then after again uh, using inverter we convert that into AC so that can be uh, helpful to control the speed of motor but uh, in the what happens 
uh, in that we can have any switching devices like MOSFETs or any other switching device like uh, SCRs but, st but uh, still most probably the in industries IGBTs are hired so uh, um, through IGBTs uh, if you think that uh, the waves would be purely sine waves so that is not the edge we you see on the screen so the waves are completely uh, different from what sine waves are so this is on off control uh, for certain time duration you have uh, a sw switch control for a uh, switch control that is turned on and for certain time duration that is off so ultimately you get the uh, nearby sine wave but that is not pure sine wave now <coughs> if you think of the ratings of avail available triple VF power ratings so this triple VF power ratings are as low voltage designed to operate from 110 to 690 volt, medium designed for 2400 to 400, well, sorry 4160 volt, and medium designed for motors uh, rated uh, rated to deliver 375 kilo ohm, and uh, that can also be designed for up to 750 750 kilo ohm. Now. Uh, um, if we bring some drive, if we bring some technology in our uh, electric field, so we must have some advantages. So, if you look, uh, look upon the advantages of uh, uh, this drive, so there are, as I said, there are so many beautiful and wonderful features of this drive. So, uh, if you see straight to the advantages of this, so the advantages are H automatic control as I told you in uh, uh, as I told you that I would be discussing about the operator interface so here it's showing the automatic control the automatic control that means uh, that control can be automatic or by operator so operator can set any current or voltage ratings externally and there we can have the control in that way and the control can also be automatic uh, if you don't want to control by you if you don't want to have any uh, fellow for that so you can have the automatic control over the drive so uh, or, or next to it it's a closed loop control so in uh, our technical term it's always said that uh, closed loose closed loop is always better than the open loop so it's a closed loop control there we have the feedback system and uh, through that feedback we adjust the speed and uh, current of the motor as per uh, our requirement and uh, if you look, uh, look upon the economical cost the cost of the uh, this drive is always be uh, uh, always be in matter but uh, uh, it said that uh, its cost is quite economical uh, not uh, much economical but it's quite economical and it's convenient to use as I told you uh, uh, if we look upon the conventional methods of the speed controlling of induction motor there we find so many difficulties so many complications but in in this drive we find it's so much convenience so much uh, uh, easy to handle it uh, and uh, I, as I showed you the power ratings of this drive so it's having wide range of operation it can be operated for a wide range uh, wide range of uh, uh, for wide range induction motors and uh, now as you know every coin has two sides so this drive has uh, some advantage as well as disad disadvantage too so now what are the disadvantages of this the first thing the major thing is that in this drive we are using he here the semiconductors and semiconductors are highly involved in uh, switching losses so the switching losses just can be neglected easily so those switching losses are involved in the disadvantage of this drive and uh, the all disadvantages related to the semiconductors they would come with this drive and uh, cost wise if you see uh, on the DC sides uh, there we have motors there we also have drives so cost wise uh, if you if you want to see so there you'd find uh, cost wise comparatively higher than the DC motors because it's not quite uh, cheaper than those drives what we use for the DC motors and for uh, uh, it's a uh, complicated in design because uh, it's uh, uh, entirely dedicated to the semiconductor and electronic side so there we find so many difficulties to design this kind of drives and uh, most probably in country like India so uh, there's a lot of difficulty to design this kind of drives and uh, so these are some disadvantages of the, uh, these drives 
and now we uh, come to the conclusion of my presentation uh, so in my presentation actually I want to show you how we can use how we can utilize the induction motor drives for induction motors uh, it's basically an AC drive uh, and uh, uh, due to certain advantages and due to certain benefits we we, uh, we hire we engage these drives in the industries and uh, <coughs> it's a lot better than the other DC drives and it's la because in DC motors what happens uh, there are brushes uh, there are uh, <coughs> commutators so uh, they cannot be used in dirty environments but in AC motors you have quite simple design a square cage motor if you can see so those rotor bars uh, and everything is just simple so in those uh, things so we have a bad control over the index motor by using this trap so uh, all we all these things are leading us to a conclusion that these traps are much much uh, better than the DC drive these traps are um, uh, much uh, lesser complicated much lesser uh, complicated that that's uh, that I mean uh, that I mean with the uh, working of these drives and the convenience to use these drives are much uh, much simple and it provides a sound operation than any other manner of the swing control of the index motor so thank you friends for uh, uh, watching my video that was uh, that was truly dedicated to the side of triple uh, VF drive